Hello everybody, welcome back to another training session with your team here at Managed. Today we're going to be running through how to add in a rent increase into the system. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy one in the sense that it's a bit content heavy. I'm going to be going through examples, but I do have to reiterate just as we're starting this, that the system that we use or system being managed is a non-trust account system and how we collect our rental payments are under three different frequency types. It's either weekly, fortnightly or monthly. We do not allow for daily rental allocations or daily rental collections. It has to either be the way you take your rent from a tenancy, full weekly, full fortnightly or full monthly. And what that is going to interplay with your rent adjustments or your rent increases is that say for example, you're sending a 60 day rent increase and the 60 day rent increase happens to fall on the 5th of May, which is a Wednesday. But the tenant's rent is due on a Monday every week. Unfortunately, you can't charge their rent as of the 3rd of May, so two days before, because you have to give them a minimum of 60 days notice. So what you're gonna have to do is you're actually gonna have to schedule the rent increase for the following Monday um, and whatever the date that is, because it has to align with their payment frequency. So if their rent is due every Monday, that rent increase is gonna have to be scheduled for a Monday with that minimum of 60 days in advance notice. Um, Two ways to get around that is you could add a bill into the system for the adjustment and I'll show you how to do that, how to figure it out as well as an example. Or another thing is keeping that in mind, scheduling your leases to be 52 week period or 26 week period rather than a six or a 12 month. And the reason being is because every month have different amount of days and your lease could start on a Tuesday but expire on a Thursday. But if you do it in a 52 or a six, uh, 26 week period or even longer, it's based on the fact that, okay, every 52 weeks rent gets charged or it's gonna be 52 weeks rather than different months, which means it's gonna expire in different days of the year. Um, so I will show you a live example of what I mean, just so that we can gather that in our head and make it make sense. Um, so for example, as of today, my tenancy here, my owners call me, they're like, hey, Chloe, I want you to send a rent increase to the tenant today. And I'm like, okay, no worries. I know that I have to give the tenant a minimum 60 days notice. So I've looked that up and it's the 5th of July that he wants that rent increase to take an effect. If I was to select my adjust rent, and I'm gonna change that from a thousand to a thousand and fifty. And he wants that, the owner, to be effective in 60 days time, which is the 5th of July. The system's gonna tell me it actually needs to be effective as of the 11th of July. And the reason being is one, my rent is due on a Thursday. And if I was to look on the calendar at the 5th of July, it's actually on a Friday, so it's one day later. And noting that I have to give a minimum meaning the system's gonna go, okay, well, and you need a minimum of 60 days notice. The Friday, I can't schedule it, I can't do daily allocation, so I'm gonna schedule it for when I can next do it in accordance with their payment frequency, which is the 11th. But I'm like, well, that's not good enough. What do I need to do to get around it? I can either send the rent increase to be effective as of the 11th rather than the 5th, or I can make an adjustment for the rent. Now, I have done a little calculation breakdown as to what I mean. So the rent is going to increase from a thousand to a thousand and fifty. That's a fifty dollar a week increase. Alrighty. The owner wants that rent increase to be effective as of the 5th of July, but the system has to schedule it as of the 11th. So what I'm going to do when we do have that calculator up the top is figure out what the daily increment is going to be. So I'm going to look at a thousand dollars a week. That daily figure is 142. And then I'm going to compare it to 150, uh, 1050, which the daily rent is 150. So what I'm going to do and is find out my adjustment. So it's from 140 to 86. It's going up to 150, which is a seven dollar and fourteen cents increase per day. And then I'm going to figure out how many days I need to apply this adjustment for. So they're paid up until um, the fifth and I need to make it up until, oh sorry, their rent is due on the 4th um, and figure out what that adjustment is. So 
instead of being in the 11th and the fifth, I'm gonna go, okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six days less the adjusted amount. So I'm gonna go, okay, that is six days I need to bill for the adjusted figure which is $42. So that's if you need it to be on the 5th, but the system won't allow it. So you have to bill for that adjustment. The other option, like I said before, is when you make your lease agreements moving forward, schedule them on a 52 week basis or a 26 week basis. That way next time it's not going to be an issue. Um, or Anytime you send a rent increase notice, before you send that notice, just check the date in the system that it's going to auto populate it to. And then your actual rent increase notice is going to have the correct date based on the system. Once you schedule in a rental adjustment, you can have a look at where it is under the rental history under the lease tab. You can delete it if you need to make that deletion or you can add in more. So that is rent increases, how to navigate it just with manage specifically and adding in that bill um, if it doesn't align accordingly with the actual notice itself. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask our chat team um, to work around it. But yeah, hopefully give that gives some peace of mind and insight on rent adjustments through the system.